good morning dear student dear student as you all know that we are going through with our chapter 3 basic problem of an economy in this chapter we already discussed about the basic problem of economy okay uh, we talk about scarcity full uh, you efficient utilization of resources we also talk about what to produce how to produce and whom to produce in our previous session dear student we cover all these topic okay the basic problem of an economy in this particular topic we already covered what to produce and how to produce after that whom to produce then we cover fully utilization of resources then efficient utilization of resources and the last one is economic growth dear student our today's topic is production possibility curve and the center problem production possibility curve is one of the important concept dear student now if you talk about what is ppc or production possibility curve so before starting this particular topic you have to understand that what that what is your central problem like what to produce capital good okay or the consumer good then how to produce with the help of labor intensive technique or capital intensive technique then home to produce for the poor people or for the richer section of the society so how these problem will be solved or uh, reflected with the help of production possibility curve we will learn in this particular part okay dear student now the nature of economic problem and the basic concept of economic problem can explain with the help of symbol diagram which is known as production possibility curve okay dear student now first of all meaning of production possibility curve or the meaning of ppc what is the meaning what do you meant by ppc so if you talk about the meaning dear student so this is the basic definition of production possibility curve which shows that a production possibility curve is the curve which shows various combination of two goods which can be produced with available technique and with given amount of resources so dear student always keep in mind whenever you talk about production possibility curve there is always two goods in this particular curve for in, in our case we have one good is butter and one good is guns okay so production possibility curve shows the combination of two different goods okay so our one good is butter second good is guns so different quantity of butter and different quantity of guns so their combination is represented by ppc curve okay second point the available technique it means the technique which you have is already available okay there is no change in technology with this given period of time whenever you study the ppc curve next is with given amount of resources it means the resources which you have is remain constant whenever you study ppc curve okay there is no change in the amount of resources so that's why production possibility curve is a curve that shows various combination of two goods that can be produced with available technique and given amount of resources okay dear student you can see this is our ppc curve okay ppc curve shows the combination of two good which we have one is gun one is butter and there are different combinations you can see that a b c d e these are the different combinations of ppc which we will study okay dear student now in our case we have consider a simple economy considering a simple economy which has to produce only two goods okay let these goods are butter and guns okay dear student now which illustrate the problem of choosing between civilian and non civilian goods given the total amount of resources and the level of technology and assuming that all the resources are fully employed in the most efficient manner okay whatever resource we have we are using it fully and full efficient manner whatever technique we are using is constant and the resources is already given so these are the basic Uh, basic assumptions or basic things which you have keep in mind while going through ppc curve okay dear student now in this example we have we can understand with the help of this particular table dear student in this table you can see that you have different combinations like a b c and d and we have two goods one is butter and another one is gun okay and the last one is marginal opportunity cost what is this we will talk in Uh, we will talk about uh, this particular marginal opportunity cost later on okay now dear student as you can see that 
first the combination of two goods butter and guns so if you talk about the combination then combination a if you produce combination a it means zero quantity of butter and 15 quantity of guns if you see the combination b then one quantity of butter 14 quantity of guns similarly in d three quantity of butter nine quantity of guns Similarly, in F, five quantities of butter and zero quantity of guns. So these are the different combinations A, B, C, D, E, E, F. Okay, these are the different combination of two goods, like the combination of which goods you can produce with the help of PPC or with the help of given technology or resources. So while plotting these goods in a diagram, you will find a curve like this. This is a concave curve so always keep in mind that ppc curve is a concave curve so when you plot these when you plot this table on when you plot this table on this curve you can easily find out these different combinations of butter and gun so let us plot this now first of all the y axis shows the guns so we plotted 5 quantity 9 12 14 and 15 in the y axis similarly we plot points of butter on our x axis which is 1 2 3 4 5 okay now when we combine these combination okay which we can see in our diagram in our uh, table like in a butter is 0 gun is 15 so you can see like point a butter is 0 and 15 is your gun okay second point b point butter is 1 and gun is 14 so you can see that when butter is 1 gun is 14 which is at point b so like this similarly when butter is 2 and gun is 12 at point c similarly point 3 uh, when butter is 3 and gun is 9 this is point d similarly next point like we have 5 gun and 4 butter so you can see that we have different combination a b c d e so these are the different combination which you can easily receive okay dear student so production possibility curve represents the combination of two goods like we have butter and guns the combination of these is represented by ppc so always keep in mind that your ppc curve is like this concave downward sloping this is your ppc curve okay p p c Okay, PPC production possibility curve. So this is the definition of PPC curve. This is the table and then this is the diagram of PPC curve. Okay, student, I hope now you all are understand that what is PPC is all about. This curve is dear student also known as transformation curve. So always keep in mind that when you plot this table and this curve, you get the PPC curve, which is known as the transformation curve. Okay, dear student. Now move to the assumptions of PPC curve. What are the different assumptions of PPC curve? Dear student, production possibility curve is based on the following assumptions. First point, the amount of productive resources are fixed. Okay, whatever the productive resources you have, the amount is fixed. Suppose you have five labor and you have three capital, then this remain constant. Okay, you cannot increase your labor you cannot increase your capital so that's why the productive resources is fixed second there is no change in technology it means whatever technology you are using it if you are using labor intensive technique it means the technology remain constant and if you are using capital intensive technique it means you cannot change your technology so whatever technique of production you are using is remain constant third point all the productive resources are fully employed it means whatever resources you have they all are fully employed okay there is no idle resources left with you suppose if you have five labors and if you have four capital then you use all the five labor and four capital okay it doesn't mean that that you use three capital or uses two labor uh, other remain idle no you have uses your all capital and all labor so whatever resources you have they all are fully employed fourth point is 
resources are not equally efficient in the production of all goods okay all resources are not equally efficient some are more efficient some are less efficient so resources are not equally efficient in the production of all goods okay dear student this implies that as resources are transferred from one use to another there is decrease in their efficiency resulting in increase in the cost of production okay so always keep in mind that your resources are not equally efficient okay so whenever you transfer one resources from one place to another their efficiency may be affected due to which cost of production may be increases okay dear student so these are the four assumptions of production possibility curve so always keep in mind while going the ppc curve or while making the ppc curve you have to keep in mind all these four assumptions okay without these assumptions your ppc curve is not work okay or there are so many exceptions of ppc without these assumptions so whenever you talk about ppc curve or whenever you go with the concept of ppc curve always keep in mind these four concepts okay dear student now move to our next point which is characteristics of ppc curve okay what are the different characteristics of ppc curve dear student the first characteristics is that ppc curve slopes downward to right this is our first characteristic as you can see in the diagram that this is our ppc curve like this okay this ppc curve is slope downward okay as you can see that it is downward sloping to the right side so that's why this ppc curve is downward sloping to the right side okay a downward sloping ppc curve indicates that the economy must give up some quantity of one good to obtain additional quantity of the other good okay dear students always keep in mind that when you produce one more unit of gun you have to sacrifice one unit of butter and if you want to produce one more unit of butter you have to sacrifice one unit of gun okay dear students that's why this particular curve is like this rightward sloping down downward okay now you can see like this there is suppose 5 and there is 10 there is 2 and there is 3 now if you want to if you want to produce more unit of butter like 5 to 10 then you have to sacrifice few quantity of gun from 3 to 2 okay Well, uh, initially you produce three quantity of gun. Now you have to produce two quantity of gun. You have to sacrifice one. Why one unit you are sacrificing so that you can produce more of the butter by five to ten. Okay, so it simply means you have to sacrifice some unit of a commodity or one unit of a commodity to produce another unit of a commodity. Okay, student. That's why PPC curve is downward sloping to the right. Okay, dear student. Now, next point is it is concave to the origin. Okay, as you can see that this is your PPC curve, which is shown in this particular diagram, and this curve making a cave shape. So that's why this curve is concave to the origin, and this is your origin. That's why this curve is concave to the origin. That's why we can say that our production possibility curve is concave in the nature. Okay, dear dear student. Now. a concave shaped ppc indicates increasing opportunity cost so this is the reason why ppc curve is concave to the origin because of increasing opportunity cost always keep in mind now what is opportunity cost opportunity cost means dear student the next best alternative use of a commodity okay the commodity which you have what is the next best alternative use of that particular commodity simply known as the opportunity cost of that that commodity okay now the opportunity cost of a commodity says butter is the quantity of the other commodity say guns which need to be given up to get one unit of it thus when we move from combination a to combination b the economy has to give up one unit of gun to produce one more unit of butter which which i and give you in my example that if you want to produce one extra unit of a commodity you have to sacrifice one unit of a commodity it simply known as the opportunity cost so the reason for the increasing opportunity cost or real cost is that resources are not equally efficient in the production of all goods 
that's why it is known as increasing opportunity cost opportunity cost you all are familiar okay now what is increasing opportunity cost increasing opportunity cost is because resources are not equally efficient okay the resource which we are using in the manufacturing of butter it may not be that much efficient to produce the same quantity of gun so that's why resources is not equally efficient in the production of all the goods that's why it is known as increasing opportunity cost okay so always keep in mind that ppc curve is concave to the origin because of increasing opportunity cost so there is and these two are the characteristics of ppc production possibility curve in our next video we will discuss about basic problem on a production possibility curve okay dear student so that's it for today stay safe stay healthy